everyone! Welcome back to Hell Week. We're on day four and we just defeated Valravan. So, we're heading back in victory to open the gate to Helheim. Let's go. Let's do this. Just kidding! I just got stuck on a rock! When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And there she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. In the trees. The mountains. Caves. I like how the scenery changes after you win. Or after you defeat the boss. It's like all warm lighting and like a sunset. I wonder. Can you see the faces too? They're there. If you look for them. Oh! Mother. I saw one earlier. Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. We did see the face behind the waterfall, so that must have been it. That must have been her mother. That's super cool. I don't like how it's, the sun's going down. I don't like that at all. <gasps> We're back! Oh, do I have to fight someone? Robin and the mark of Surt. You may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Wow. All right, let's do it. Let's see if I can still fight. Why is she waiting? Open, open the gate. Open no, the gate. Don't. don't. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. Don't. She's done it. Oh. No one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved.
But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now that you're home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul. These gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him. In your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoiled. By your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. still beats a heart. Well, I'm shook. Do I have to spam? Do I have to get up? The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze. Averted from life. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandoned to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Oh. My. Gosh. Oh yeah, I see you. I'm not afraid. I'm still like stunned from that the gods first. Made you a warrior. It's your call. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm already out of practice. What, it's been literally a day. Heavy hits, heavy hits, come on, heavy hits. Get out! 
Wait, how do I? You're close. I still don't know how to beat these ones. They're horrible. They're horrible. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we can do it. Come on. Oh my gosh, I cannot imagine fighting two of these guys at the same time. <gasps> I'm astonished. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> wow, look. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. I can't believe I just did that. Oh, wow. All right. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Who? <gasps> what the heck is that? Ew, what the heck? Get up, get up. I'm ready. Run. Run. Oh my gosh, she's tired. She's very weak. Oh my gosh. Okay, focusing is gonna be the way to- Oh my gosh. This dude is no joke. He's fast, are you kidding me? This is the slowest dude I've ever seen. Oh, I'm totally dead. Get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on, come on. Can't let Mr. whatever. It looks like he's from Blair Witch. Oh my gosh, this dude is crazy! <gasps> okay, come on, come on, come on. Light on your feet. You got this. You got this. You got this. <gasps> it's okay, it's okay. That was my mistake, I don't Okay, back, back. Keep going out for it! Look at this dude! Look at this dude! <gasps> No, 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 no. Get up, get up. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, spam, spam, spam. We can still do it. It's not over. Oh. He literally, like, charges you? What? Oh, my gosh. I'm not ready for this again. I thought those... Whatever. Uh, shield is for the worst. But, no. Nope. Why have I got a straight-up mini-boss right now? <gasps> No, 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 get up, get up, get up. Back, 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 back. Get out, get out of the corner, get out of the corner. Get left, back, 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 back. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Back, 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 back. Oh my gosh. I am gonna die so many times during this. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on. Oh, that was the wrong time to do that. Heavy hits, heavy hits, come on. Back, back, back. You're okay. Okay, it's okay. How did he hit me? Do I have to move twice? Okay, let's try moving twice next time. She's hurt. She won't make it. Are you kidding me? Who is this man? What is he doing here? <gasps> Go, go, get out, get out. Go, 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 twice. Get out, 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 get out. Okay, come on. She doesn't adjust for sprinting very quickly. <gasps> oh my gosh. That can't be pleasant. <gasps> get up, get up. Heavy hits, come on, heavy hits, heavy hits, heavy hits. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Good job, good job, good job. Watch his movements. Okay, so he adjusts his positioning twice. That's really good for me to know. Surprise him. It's nearly over. It is? Okay, it's okay. Oh my gosh, it's okay, it's okay. It's my fault, I know. My fault, my fault, my fault. Back, back. Okay. Sprint. You got this. Back, back, back. Forward. It's okay. It's 
Okay. He's gonna swing, but we're just gonna hit him. Hit him, hit him. Heavy hits. <gasps> what? Are you kidding me? Who and why? Why are you putting me through this? Why? Okay, so surprise, my game footage actually completely crashed. So I died, even though I was about to win that one. But it's okay. We can do this again. No problem. Who does this guy think he is? Look at him, I don't even like his hair. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. She finished, him. finished him? Let's get this dude out of the way first. I keep forgetting that these ones need to press control. Oh my gosh, there's two? Why you all do this to me? Behind you. There's three? They're really expecting me to do this with three? Oh my gosh. <gasps> How are they expecting me to do this with three? I can barely even do it with one! Okay, it's okay, you got this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Heavy hits, heavy hits only. Heavy hits. What? What? She didn't do anything. Okay, go, go, go. Get one out of the way. Yeah, you can isolate them, isolate them, isolate them. You got this, you got this. Okay, oh my god. There's two, why? Why do they hate me so much? Why does this game hate me? Why does this game hate me? Get him, get him while his shield's up. Heavy hits, heavy hits, heavy hits, heavy hits. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He swings twice. Remember, he swings twice. He's a backlash. Go, go, side, 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 side. Okay, I figured out why Senna was moving weird because my hand is on the wrong buttons. Okay, come on, got this, you got this. You can do it, you can do it, Senua. You can, go, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. This is your time. This is your time. This is your time. He's gonna try to swing again. Remember the backlash. You got this, you got this, you got this. <laughs> You're just doing make around the rosy right now. Oh my god. Back, back, back. We're ready. Back, 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 back. You got this, you got this. He's... How did I do that? How did I do that? Oh my gosh. My heart is racing like you would not even believe. Oh gosh. Okay. Now it's time for me to be bad at puzzles. There's one. There has to be one. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. There's one. Hmm. Uh, where do we go? Oh. Oh, yay, we can listen. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd. And is challenged by the giantess. Is that technically what we're doing now? Oh gosh! This is so creepy but awesome. He's supposed to be here? Focus. There's something blue on my vision. Is that supposed to happen? 
What? This is a weird sound I'm hearing. <gasps> oh! That bridge, I was noticed it kind of looked like shadowy. No way, are you kidding me? No way, that's insane! I noticed, like, the, uh, the opacity of the blocks or the wood shards, I guess. We're different. That's so weird. What? Also, how is there a gate here now? That's crazy. I like how they're adding these new mechanics. That's really awesome. Okay, S. Or not S, but the rune that looks like an S. see. Alright, so it kind of... is it fading? No, it's all along the top. <gasps> hey! Nice! Alright, further up? What's up here? Oh, wow. That's cool how it makes all of them. Wow, I love this rain effect. That's so great. I can't believe I beat that. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. The bridge is broken. How are we gonna get through this? That was weird. Are we gonna have to fight someone else? The gate. What? It's opening. What? Who is it? It's coming. That song again. What is it? Is it? Is it? It's Hella. Yes. The source of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. What? What? I'm sorry. Oh. I can't watch this. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. It's okay. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Oh. What? Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake? And we only see what our inner eye creates for us. Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless, weak, pathetic. Go on, feel sorry for yourself. 
That's because there is no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your soul. Come on. There. How's that gonna help? Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, song it's not real it's true it's not the real thing listen to it she can't give up did he did he did he it's not like this it can't be it's not real it's real it's a trick don't trust it maybe you're already dead who are you do you still believe in yourself emotional I'm in my feelings right now I'm like tearing up a little bit this is so powerful I'm not gonna make her run I don't want even want to try to make her run wow there's like carcasses of ships down here wow that's him Doing some interpretive dancing. There it is. Your it's okay. He's going. You always go slow. No, she's How could you keep going? How could you keep going? Ignore the pain. I told you it was to trick you. You killed Val Robin. It's not a trick. The acting is so good. rest if you need to, but I think you're doing good. Sorry if I'm supposed to run here. I'm not going to. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Father's inbound made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. Not trying to be weird, but I would totally live on this coast. It's beautiful, and it looks cold. Oh, she can run.
already disappeared. Nothing lives here, not even you. It's in your mind. You think you can see it, but it's in your mind. I know this tree. This is a beautiful tree. There he was. The lone figure of a boy. Saw play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. For the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. That's rude. Oh, wow. You have to get up there somehow? Or are we going to him? Let's try to go to him. Can we go this way, maybe? Whoa! It's beautiful. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well... That night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. We're closer to the tree now, so that's good. I like how there's multiple paths. That's more realistic. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him. Perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. It's a trick, it's an illusion. It's not real. <laughs> Do you free it's real. You want to believe it's real, but it's a trick. <laughs> You're deluded. Where are you going? Where is she going? <laughs> what is she following? You can't even fight. It's just a deception. How does he so effortlessly court the world in bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Oh. 
Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I I watched you and you learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here. You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Shut up! Story? Trying to tell you. Maybe it's later. For you by the tree. As the she wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Oh. Oh. I like these stories. Norse mythology, it's so cool. I know this game is a mix of a lot of different mythologies, which is also cool. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. Ow! Oh. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless. And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. Well, I mean, you do you. Do we go up here next? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! going on? <gasps> it's a sword! Take it. Sword. A sword. Take it. Dillian left it for you. Take it. 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 <gasps> <gasps> Senua, 
fragile. A sword that can slay gods. <laughs> its name is Gramra. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Gramr by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. I guess that's what the those are. The Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Good shots. Good shots. Uh oh, am I gonna have to remember stuff? Find it. Find it. There it is. Focus. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are Whoa. we now? Burial mound. Where? It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. The daughter of a berserker, born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him. But above all, the sword, Tyrvin. That sounds familiar. I'm like still in awe of this moment. I know like adding like environmental factors, like rain, so simple, but it adds so much to the game. Let's go up here, let's see what's up here. The sun's still setting and that's worrying me a little bit, but it's okay. Where are we heading to? Oh! Oh! You expect me to go in there? Excuse me? No! No! Don't save! No! Don't you dare! Oh! Ugh, okay, guess what's happening? I'm gonna close my eyes! Don't go in. Go in. You have to go in. Take the torch. <gasps> Don't do that! Oh, you're going to make me walk? You have to be able to see. <gasps> oh, I hate it. Who's there? I'm just walking forward until there's a jump scare. Oh, I hate horror games. I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? I'll find him. What? Which one looks creepier? This one looks creepier. You go down the creepier one. You can't run. That's not nice. What's that? Did you hear that? Nothing. No. What's that voices? Is that me? Is it noise? <gasps> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Dillian's calling to you. Can you hear him? I can hear him. He's getting further away. Have you lost him? You're going. Hervor disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors. And soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, 
Her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. I don't like that. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. Yikes. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. If Skyrim has taught me anything, I am not stepping on that. The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. Listen, listen. I hate it. I hate it so much. Why is this full screen? It's getting louder. There he is. You're getting closer. This way is creepier. Go the creepier way. Follow the voice. You're nearly there. I can't do it. Oh my gosh! He's going to save you. Find the voice. Find him. It's not him. I hate this literally more than anything. I leaned away from the screen. Oh gosh, I hate this. So much. I hate it so much. Oh. That voice doesn't sound like Dillian anymore. What's happening? Quiet. It's not him. He wants me to find him. No, stop. Stop it. It's dark. Oh my gosh. That's not Dillian. That doesn't sound like Dillian. I can't do this. I'm genuinely so scared. I'm like leaned all the way away from my computer. Guys, why am I doing this? Oh my gosh, and then the washing machine is making clicking noises. Ew, that's red. Yeah, this is definitely something. I don't know why I always have to go through the right door. I wonder what would happen if I went through all the left. Oh gosh, please, I don't want to do this. I'm literally leaned away. Can I not go in here? What is this place? Dillian wants me to face my fears. Escaped? Escaped? To where? To where? To where? To where? Where are we escaping to? Wait, don't drop it! That's your weapon! What? I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief said, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Oh my gosh. Do I have to do that more times? 
That's terrifying. It's dumb. We did it, but that's more. Don't think I didn't recognize that voice though, Dad, old that's pal. I recognize your voice. There's Where am I going? Too much to do. Oh, don't make me go through another creepy cave. All right, let's see what happens. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Oh, I know how he dies. Whoa. 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 I was not expecting this at all. The bridge. You've come this far, <laughs> but the bridge is broken. There's no way you can fix it. What do you do now, Sam? Still in awe. You oh what? Stay back, don't touch it. Where are we? What is this? What? the same. Oh whack. Oh, I almost fell off the bridge, sorry. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What happened? I wonder how much of this is like a dream sequence and how much is just regular. Dillian is in there. Don't forget. You can feel me. You need the runes to fight Dillian. You need Dillian. Hmm. I wonder where this will be. waiting for you. always said you. Can we go through here? He's close. Nope. Well, so let's go around the other side to see what happens. He loves you. It's love calling you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. Oh. Can I go through here? Is that possible? Open the gate. She can't. Open the gate. Hmm. It's locked. Try harder. She can't. What about the face? She can't. She will. Yeah, we can go back to the face now. Maybe it's open in the other reality? Maybe the door is open? Let's try it. Yeah, it is. But it's so dark and dreary. But it's pretty, so. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. That's behind the gate. Where will it take you? It's not safe. They're repeating the same things from earlier. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Where is he? Where is he going? We're in the room. Oh, he's not here. She's in the room. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark world. Can we open any of the these doors? The world seems so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. Right, it's around here somewhere. Hmm. 
Up here, maybe? You can't go up you there. You can't go up there. Not in this world. Okay. Not in this world. But the door's open. What's going on out here? Oh, we can open this. So I'm thinking maybe we should go back to the face again? And then go through this left door? Let's try that. I don't know how it will work, but maybe that's a good way to start? Or if I'm just losing my mind, that easily could be the case. Let's see if this is open now. Wait a minute, I'm dumb. Wow. Okay, let's see. What? We can't go in this way. What? What? So it was right to go to the face? You kill the things that are not for your purpose. You kill the things that are most precious to you. How do we do this? How do we get up there then? Because this gate is closed. Is there a way to get in here? need to focus anywhere? Huh. What? Featuring me getting way more confused than I need to be. Saved you. Balder. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Balder dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Balder's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, Beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Yep, I know how that story goes. Maybe I'm supposed to look for this the symbol now. She's alive at all. He's the <gasps> she keeps I'm away. dumb! Look at that! Guys, it's right there! Oh my gosh, editing that? I'm gonna <laughs> look so dumb. You've got it. Okay, so now we can go around and open this. Why isn't he? It makes so much more sense. He's in the dark world. Oh, it is open. All right, let's see what this does for us. This is a hint. Like, did the voices tell me I had to be in the dark world to get on the inside? Was it worth it? Oh, I can't get in. There he is. Where are you taking He's up there. He's up there. How do you get up there? There's a way. There is a way up there. Find the way. She can do this. Let's listen to this before you reconstruct it. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. 
She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Okay, so I accidentally stopped the story, but basically, Loki makes a blind god shoot Balder and kill him, and it's really sad. What if these trials be nothing? Laughing at you. What if they take you closer to Dillion? And you're letting this get in the way. What if they are just to tire you out, make you weak before the battle? That looks like a rune. From the outside, that was the opposite direction. Whoa, what? Oh, yay! That looks like it, right? He cared in a way that nobody else did. Oh, there we go. Nice! Cool! Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as Oh, I kept <laughs> making that story go quiet. I feel bad. Yeah, so we need to get this one up here. How do we s switch it? Like, how do we see it on the other side? Oh, I see. We have to somehow get on that side? Can we go through this door? Still hanging out? Dillian! What are you doing over there? Stop making me do all these puzzles! What happens to the things you love? What? How is this not open? Can we get through now? I don't know. Oh, we can! That's awesome. Right, let's listen to this. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief, and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Yeah, I mean, Loki's mean! Do you remember what it was to touch him? Okay... Let's switch. Let's do a good old switcheroo. Let's see what happens. I think it's interesting how the voices change too. Ooh. The voices change too, from encouraging to really mean, depending on which world you're in. It's interesting. So this is making progress, right? I forgot what I was doing, but... We're gonna go over and push this area on. Dillian, yeah, here we go. Know who killed him, but we do. Okay. Yay! 
Yay! Yay! Do you remember the sound of his voice? This took me way too long. Yay! Alright, let's listen to this last story. Well, maybe last. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. In a way that nobody else did. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Of course. Yay! <laughs> she thought she had we did it! She is pure darkness. Yes! Yes! Dillian! Why are you over here? Oh no! Why one of these? Okay, it's okay. Oh! Be very, very careful. Dillian never much cared for the underworld and looked dimly upon the druids like her father, Zinbal. I guess he took after his father. It's okay. A chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. <laughs> and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. It's okay. And to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. It's okay. The darkness that had bound her so tightly. Began to unravel. I'm so focused. You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. Down. She's she not is. going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Sinwar. Yeah, good job. What? Praise the sun? Who's this? No! Oh, no! Where's he gone? It's your fault. He's disappeared. He's like flower petals. Is this Kung Fu Panda? What's happening? Shinoa. Look at this dude! Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. Wholesome content. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this is not to do with the soul? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. Okay, there looks like there's more shards. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. All right. I'm going to leave this episode here. It dragged on a lot longer than I actually expected to record for. And I have to edit tonight and stuff. So 
I'm going to leave it here and we're going to continue with these tests. Trials of Odin, you can say. But I can't wait to see what happens next. We got a lot of history in this episode about Senua, so it's really cool to see. So thank you all so much for joining me for Hell Week. I'm really enjoying recording these, even though it takes me a long time because I get confused on all the puzzles. So we'll see how long this episode actually ends up being. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in Helheim.